Nanotechnology is a field of research and innovation concerned with building things, generally materials and devices on the scale of atoms and molecules. Greetings to one and all. My work is on blue light emission studies based on silver, nickel, thalocyanate nanocomposites. And my objectives of studies are first, to prepare a silver nanoparticle by green synthesis, and for this, we use mangosine extract here. And to study surface morphology, structure, and optical properties of silver nanoparticles, characterization techniques like TEM and set analysis, UV visible spectroscopic analysis before and after gamma irradiations are done. And finally, a silver nickel thalocyanate dye is prepared to study luminescent effect. Now, let's see how this nanoparticle is prepared. For this, a 20 milligram of silver nitrate is dissolved in 150 ml of deionized water using magnetic steroid. And then the extract of Garnesia mangosthena is added to silver nitrate solution at different concentration, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 ml. And these samples are named as M1, M2, M3, M4, and M5, respectively. And this solution is well stirred and kept for two or three days. And so that we obtain a colloidal nanoparticle solution. And the yellowish brown color appeared in this bottle after two or three days confirms that the prepared colloidal solution is of silver nanoparticles. Now let's look at the results. The images on the screen are, on the left side of the screen is the image of the sample before gamma irradiation and on the right side is the image, image of the samples after gamma irradiation. And these are the analysis results. From the TEM analysis, we can see that the nanoparticles are of agglomerated nano clusters form. And from HR term, we can see that the nanoparticles are spherical in shape. And the ring like diffraction pattern of set indicates that the nanoparticles are FCC crystal structures. And after gamma irradiation, the TEM pattern shows that the nanoparticles are no longer agglomerated and also have a well drained boundary. And it's also observed that the average particle size decreases from 42.25 to 28.578 nanometer. And the, from set pattern, we can say that the FCC crystal structures remain the same, but with some additional lattice plates. And from the optical absorption studies, we can say that the absorption peak is at 436 nanometer, which confirms that the prepared colloidal solution is that of silver nanoparticles. And it's also seen that the absorption is increased with the increase in concentration of reducing agent. And this statement verified via Lambert's law. But after gamma irradiation, the absorption is decreased. And the band gap energy is found out using a top plot. And the results from these top plots are comparable with the standard value of band gap energy for silver, silver nanoparticles. And after gamma irradiation, for high concentration of samples, the band gap energy is found to be stable and the results are comparable with silver nanoparticles. And to study photoluminescent effect, we have to prepare a silver nickel thalocyanate nanocomposite and to this, a typical infrared dye, nickel thalocyanin, is added with 10 ml of ethanol and made it soluble. And 3 ml of dye is added to 3 gray 5 ml garnisha mangosthena and heated at 60 degrees Celsius in a preheated magnetic stirrer. And the stirring is continued for 10 minutes for the evaporation of ethanol. And we can observe that. Due to the addition of this nickel thalocyanate to our sample, the fluorescent quenching effect of silver nitrate changes to fluorescent effect. And peer studies on the silver thalocyanate composites under gamma irradiation gives better results for blue light emission display devices. And these are my conclusions. The silver, the silver nanoparticles are synthesized by green synthesis using leaf extract of mangosin and gamma irradiations are given at different dosages. And the temp analysis before gamma irradiation shows that the nanoparticles are agglomerated and after gamma irradiation, we can see that they are no longer agglomerated. And from the HR term, we can see that the nanoparticles are spherical in nature. And the set pattern shows that the nanoparticles are FCC crystal structured. And from UV visible
visible spectroscopic analysis, it is observed that the absorption band, this absorption band for sample with highest concentration of leaf extract possess a controllable grain size and nano regime. And the band cap energy for all the samples is well suited with the standard value of colloidal nano silver and it undergo a direct allowed band transition between the bands. The beer Lambert's law is also verified here. The CIE chromaticity diagram of silver thalocyanate nanocomposite gives a better luminescence, photoluminescence in blue region. And from the peer studies, we can say that the gamma irradiated silver nickel thalocyanate dye can be effectively used for blue light emitting device fabrication using screen printing technology. Thank you.